இந்தியாவில் அச்சீவ் இந்த நெக்ஸ்ட் ஐந்து இயர்ஸ் இந்த செமி கண்டக்டர் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி வட் சைனா ஹேஸ் ஃபெயில் டு டூ இன் த லாஸ்ட் த்ரீ டெக்கேட்ஸ் திஸ் போல் கேன் ஹேஸ் பின் மேட் பை இந்தியாஸ் மினிஸ்டர் ஆஃப் ஸ்டேட் ஃபார் எலக்ட்ரானிக்ஸ் அண்ட் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் டெக்னாலஜி ராஜீவ் சந்திரசேகர் But can India beat the world's factory China as a semiconductor superpower? And what steps is India taking to achieve this incredible goal and boost its booming semiconductor industry? China is expected to produce roughly 25% of the world's semiconductors by 2030. The modern world runs on these micro-smart chips from smartphones to automobiles. It's impossible to imagine today's world without semiconductors. India joined the semiconductor bandwagon late, but it eager to catch up with the big guns as of 2022 the indian semiconductor market was valued at 27 billion dollars as india's strength lies in its design capabilities with over 50 plus design making it an attractive destination for semiconductor manufacturing recognizing the importance of semiconductor industry the indian government has introduced the make in india initiative launched in 2014 aims to promote manufacturing in india and production link incentive which is pli scheme for the electronic sector offer a substantial 1.7 billion dollars incentive package under which the firms like Vedanta in Taiwan Foxconn have promised multi billion dollar investment in setting up units of manufacturing chips which are used in products ranging from mobile phones to cars with 10 billion us dollars of incentives india is encouraging local chip manufacturing said rajiv chandrashekar but his claim is backed by massive investments by global semiconductor giants in India such as Edison a US engineering firm paid 163 million dollars for Bengaluru smart grid chip design servicing company making it India's largest semiconductor acquisition Foxconn plans to set up a display fabrication unit with an investment of 20 million dollars in Dhalaira Gujarat Singapore based IGSS Ventures Private Limited signed a memorandum of understanding with Tamil Nadu government in for building a semiconductor high tech park with an investment of 3.5 billion dollars ISNC is a joint venture between Abu Dhabi based Next Orbit Ventures and Israel's Tower Semiconductor has signed a memorandum of understanding with Karnataka government for a 3 million dollar fabrication plant in Mysore where China's presence to eclipse China through a bold aim Chinese semiconductor industry is facing few challenges. There are export restrictions imposed by the US and its allies. Japan recently announced export restrictions on advanced semiconductor manufacturing equipments, joining the US and the Netherlands in limiting China's access to advanced chips and equipment. This is likely to limit China's semiconductor development to the 14 nanometer process, hindering its ability to advance beyond the standard. In retaliation, China's cyberspace regulator banned key infrastructure operators from buying products from the US memory chip maker Micron, claiming it failed a network security review. India stands to benefit from this US-China trade war if it provides the right opportunities and incentives to its own semiconductor startups and global players looking to enter this 1.4 billion people strong market. However, New Delhi has a long way to go. The world's leading semiconductor manufacturing countries remain Taiwan, South Korea, Japan, US and China. There are other semiconductor industries and companies such as Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company which is on the number 1. Second place is acquired by America's Intel Corporation. Third place is America's Qualcomm. Fourth place is acquired by Broadcom in Sync from California and the fifth place is acquired by US based Micron Technology. So these are the few world's top 5 semiconductor companies. India needs to attract and innovate like never before if it has to compete with the best and truly achieve its economical potential.